My name is Lisa. I work for a certain company. Between work and love, I've been quite busy, and recently, I decided to marry my boyfriend, Noah. On this day. So, about the wedding. Yeah. There's still quite a bit we need to decide on, right? Exactly. We've settled on the general plan, but there are still some details left. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event, so I'd like to be a bit particular about it. You know, not everyone only does it once in their lifetime. Hey, hey. What's gotten into you? Why are you suddenly talking so negatively? <laughs> Just a thought. For us, it's once in a lifetime, right? Bohaha, <laughs> what? Do you think this is my second time? Huh? No way. Noah, is this your third time? That's totally wrong. Of course not. This is my first time. Don't say weird stuff. You really got me there. Sorry. Let's make our wedding wonderful. Yeah. Let's have a wedding we'll never forget. You mean, in a bad way? Just give me a break already. Our wedding preparations seem to be going smoothly, well, sort of. Nonetheless, we were caught up in busy days. However, there were those who did not wholeheartedly bless our union. That would be my elder sister Tanisha and her husband Sterling. Lisa's getting married. Are you sure you should be doing something like this? Come on, don't be so harsh. This was probably the only path for her. Working for a small to medium-sized company without even holding a significant position. I guess that's what she settled for. Ugh, having such a good-for-nothing sister is embarrassing for me. Ah, uh, I feel for you. Though, when compared to us, most occupations don't seem that impressive. Ahaha, uh true. Yes, yes, I get it. I'm nothing impressive compared to you too. Tanisha has always been bright and passed the certified public accountant exam on her first try. Sterling also worked as a CPA. The accomplished pair often looked down on me for working at a small to medium-sized company. One day, they summoned me for a pre-wedding greeting. After reserving a spot at a restaurant, as I waited. Hmm, they're late. I'm sorry, they're not great with punctuality. Ah, uh, don't worry about it at all. Honestly, I'm just happy to spend more time with you, Lisa. Thanks, Noah. Ah. Uh. They might be coming. I think. What's with this dreary place? Isn't it unthinkable to book such a place? Yeah, considering you called us out, this place seems a tad too informal. A tad? You mean, extremely, right? Ha ha ha, yeah, you're spot on. Not only were Tanisha and Sterling more than 30 minutes late for our meeting, but they also started off with a rude attitude right upon their arrival. Noah greeted the two of them courteously without getting angry, and my heart swelled with pride seeing his calm demeanor. However, the two of them didn't stop there, they began making derogatory remarks towards Noah as well. So, Noah, what do you do for a living? Given that cheap suit, I assume it's not much. Haha, uh -huh, you're right about that. I'm just a regular office worker. Hey, you too. You come late, and then you say such rude things. Why? What? We're accountants, so we're busy. You should understand that. You know the Anasuaga group? We are CPAs who handle jobs even from such major corporations. Hey Sterling, let's leave. Let's go to the Kayasuaga Hotel instead of this place. Well, I've been there so many times I'm getting a bit tired of it. True, we've been going there too much. But we're super close with the general manager there, and they're waiting for us. We should at least show up. I see. Well, I'll just give you the wedding invitation then. Tanisha and Sterling, with a snooty laugh, took the invitation from Noah and left. After that, we didn't hear from the two of them at all and enjoyed peaceful days. A few months later, the long-awaited wedding day arrived. While I was preparing in the dressing room, the phone rang. Yoo-hoo, Lisa. When's your wedding again? When? It's today. Oh, right. Just as I thought. But seriously, marrying such a bland man? You're on the losing end, honey. Seriously. If I were a woman, I'd never choose him as my marriage partner. Wah! What are you saying? We're the official accountants for the Kayasuiga Hotel and the Anasuiga Group, you know? We're on a different level than common folks like you. So, attending your wedding would be a waste of our time. We're cancelling. Even the gift would be a waste of money. Ha! Wah! What do you mean, waste? Like, I don't want to be in the same space as the kind of people who'd attend a commoner's wedding. Plus, I bet the food at that cheap wedding venue isn't even good. What? 
So, we won't be attending your wedding. Take care. All the best. Adieu. Saying that, I quickly told Tanisha and Sterling not to come and hung up the phone. Honestly, if these two were to attend, they would likely disrupt the ceremony, so I felt relieved with my decision. However, a few hours later. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, Lisa, what's going on here? Oh, sis, you came. What do you mean? I mean, why is the ceremony at the Cayacica Hotel? Hey, you never mentioned it was going to be here. Why didn't you tell us about the venue? It was on the invitation, didn't you read it? Didn't you come here after seeing it? I threw that away ages ago. I didn't even look at it. I just happened to pass by and saw our relatives gathering. If it's at such a famous hotel, of course I'd attend. It was always my dream to spend time at the Cayacica Hotel. Now my dream is coming true. Didn't you say you were tired of the food at the Cayacica Hotel? Eh? Did I say that? Sterling? Erm, um, didn't you? You also mentioned being great friends with the hotel's general manager, Taro, right? I should probably call him over to greet you, shouldn't I? I don't really feel like seeing him today. Yeah, yeah. No need to bother Taro for us. Okay, maybe another time then. Anyway, forget about Taro, just show us to our seats. Yeah, let us grace this event with our presence. Tanisha and Sterling, who had suddenly appeared at the wedding venue, demanded seats. What are you talking about? There are no seats for the two of you. You're the ones who said it would be a waste of money, remember? What? You mean to tell me there's no seat for me? I'm your sister. How can a sister not attend her younger sister's wedding? You were the one who just loudly declared that a little while ago. Also, you said you're tired of the cheap Cayacica Hotel food, right? That was just because we didn't recognize the hotel's name. It's a super luxurious hotel, you know? Who wouldn't want to dine there at least once before they die? Haha, <laughs> you're exposing your own lies now. Sterling, what are you blabbering about? So claiming to be regulars at the Cayacica Hotel was a lie? No! We totally frequent there. I mean, I could get here from the train station with my eyes closed. Sterling, our story was that we always come by car, remember? Air. I meant I could drive here with my eyes closed. That's pretty dangerous. I'd prefer you didn't. Anyway, enough with this chit-chat. Just show us to our seats already. As I said earlier, there are no seats for you too. I can't show you to seats that don't exist. Please leave. I told you. How can a sister not attend her sister's wedding? Exactly. You can just prepare seats for us now. Despite their tarnished reputations, Tanisha and Sterling persistently insisted on attending. Come on, you can't be serious. Why would we consider you attending when you didn't even reply to the invitation, nor did you notify us of your attendance? And who throws away an invitation without even checking its contents? Are you really certified public accountants? Are you even competent in your job? Do you shred documents without even reading them? Hey, don't mock us. We would never do such a thing. We're fully competent in our jobs. You're just jealous of our work, so stop with the petty envy. Yes, speaking of work, you two are the accountants for the Cayacica Hotel, right? So why can't either of you remember the name of the general manager? Huh? No, the manager's name is Taro, like I said earlier. No, the hotel's general manager isn't Taro. It's Saburo. Wah. Wow. These people tricked us, didn't they? What's this about Saburo? That's almost the same as Taro. I've had enough of this place. Come on, Tanisha, let's go. Yes, let's leave immediately. After all this nonsense. This is precisely why I didn't want to attend. Wait, my parents want to greet you do since you're there and lost. As Tanisha and Sterling hurriedly try to leave upon being exposed, Noah's in-laws approach them. Hello there. So, you must be the sisters-in-law. Seems like it. But I've never seen their faces before. Well, of course, you haven't. It's our first time meeting, duh. Ugh, commoners. Okay, introductions or whatever are done. Move out of the way. Hmm? So you do consider yourselves above common folk? Heh, exactly. We're the exclusive accountants for the Anosuka Group. Ha, huh, surprised by our connection to such a major company, huh? Certainly surprised. When did my company's accountants change to you too? He. Oh, uh, you're funny, making jokes like that. Yeah, ha, huh, 
talking about his company, that's hilarious. It's inconceivable for the company to change accountants without the president's permission. Wait, he's the real deal. Wait a minute, why is the CEO here? You misuse my company's name, and I can't overlook that. No, it's, it's a misunderstanding, sir. I mean... Yeah, misuse, we wouldn't do something so presumptuous. Lately, there's been a concern. People using my company's name without permission to secure work. Never thought I'd run into them here. Aren't they that couple known for passing their exams on the first try, but famous for forgetting all the knowledge thereafter? Are you calling us brainless? There are lines you shouldn't cross. What's this about being famous? Are we renowned for being clueless or something? Regardless, I can't let someone misuse my company's name. We'll have to take legal action against you too. Please come in. Nice to meet you. I'm Alden, the legal counsel for the Anasuka Group. I'll handle the rest. Shall we move to another area for our discussion? The facade completely shattered. Tanisha and Sterling now face legal action. Hey, wait a minute. Sue us? Just hold on. Rewind. Please, no talk about suing, Mr. CEO. It's terrifying. No, we're going ahead with suing you. Come on. Don't keep repeating that. Weren't you the one who just said rewind? Uh, what? Rewind? Do you mean like, to play back? Seriously, what the heck are you doing? Please, we promise never to misuse your company's name ever again. So, could you, please be lenient with us? Please. We swear, we'll never do this again. You two are such a hassle. No, Lisa, what do you two want to do with them? Well, it's their wedding day after all. Maybe we should let them decide. It's like a little wedding gift then. So, what's it gonna be? Uh, I mean, what to do. What do you think? Well, given the situation, I truly regret what I've done. We won't do it again. I feel like criminals should be treated as criminals, but... If someone does wrong, they should face the consequences. So, that settles it. Wait, Lisa. Your own sister is about to be sued. Don't you want to help her something? She's your blood sister. Help her out, you heartless person. I can let the insults towards me slide. But if you're causing trouble for my husband's family, it's a different story. For me, I think at this point, we don't have to let it go. But well, I'll respect what my wife says. All right then, you two will have to pay for pretending to be from my company. Pay for a crime? Did we break some law? This time, you violated the Unfair Competition Prevention Act. And since the wedding was interrupted, you'll probably be charged an extension fee as well. What the? We weren't competing or anything. Stop. Let me go. Wait, don't, don't take us away. No. Thus, Tanisha and Mr. Sterling were taken away by Mr. Alden. We resumed the wedding ceremony that had been interrupted and received warm blessings from many people. Later on, Tanisha and Mr. Sterling were formally sued by the Iwano Shugaguru Group. My father-in-law graciously covered our wedding extension fee and included it in the charges. Due to the incident, which even made the news because they falsely claimed to represent a major company, they faced lawsuits from various places they had previously worked. The amount of compensation they owed was far beyond what individuals could repay. Even after exhausting their savings, they couldn't repay it, forcing them into extreme poverty. Although fully repaying it seemed impossible, they had to find work. However, after their actions were publicized in the news, finding work in accounting proved difficult. When they finally found employment, the salary was meager. So they were burdened with a debt they could never repay, leading to a life of hardship. As for my wife and me. You know, now that it's over, I feel like we could have done more at the wedding. Yes, but I think those things will become fond memories of our wedding. Ah, oh, true. Looking back and thinking, we should have done this or that, does make it memorable. Exactly, let's make every experience a memory for us. Someone once said every up and down can be fun if you sing about it. But are you okay with continuing to work after our marriage? Our household income might decrease, but I was okay if you decided to be a full-time housewife. I like my job and feel better when I'm working. On the other hand, I wouldn't have minded if you chose to be a stay-at-home husband. I'd support you. Ah, uh -huh, thanks. But when you say it like that, it makes me want to work. See? I owe a lot to the company that raised me. I still haven't fully repaid them. Lisa, you're so sincere. But that's one of the things I love about you. 
Thank you. I love how kind and genuine you are, Noah. Haha. <laughs> this is making me blush. Well, we are newlyweds, right? It's not unusual, right? I don't think I'll get used to this for a while. Then, let's keep this newlywed feeling forever. Since then, we, as a married couple, have lived very happily. Noah and I had been dating for a long time before getting married, but being married has a different feel to it, and we're enjoying every day. I decided to continue my current job after getting married. Although I considered becoming a full-time housewife as Noah had suggested, I really like my current job, so I intend to stick with it for a while. In the future, we might have kids or move to a new place, many things await us. I hope to face everything with the same happy and calm feelings as now. And with that, I'm excited to face another day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more great content. Just click on the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.